Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Everybody out there on YouTube is making these videos for Halloween, like the scariest movies ever, and all these scary videos that you see out there. And I just want to talk about the video game trends and what's going on in the industry, because to be honest, that's the scariest thing out there right now. Activision just got granted a patent that's going to allow them to create even more microtransactions. Hey, I get those lights checked out. Kotaku reports that Activision patents matchmaking that encourages players to buy microtransactions. And there's a couple ways that this patent is going to work against the players. For example, if the player purchased a particular weapon, the microtransaction engine may match the player in a gameplay session in which that particular weapon is highly effective. The text of the patent reads, This may encourage the player to make future purchases to achieve similar gameplay results. Let me break that down in layman's terms. Basically, if you're playing a first-person shooter, you buy a machine gun that's good for close range, the game will see that you used real money to purchase an item that's good for close range and it will automatically force you into maps that are good for close range weapons against players who don't necessarily use money to upgrade their weapons to get those kind of weapons. Thus ensuring that you'll be successful more often than not when you're playing the game because you spent real money on it. And while it may not seem like the biggest deal up front, when you actually take a deeper look at this, you see the real world consequences. If you're playing this game, you're automatically at a disadvantage if you're not spending money because the game is automatically putting people who spent money on these weapons at an advantage in an area that you do not have those specific weapons set up for. The other way they'll be using this patent is to analyze player trends such as latency and weapon preference in order to place them in scenarios that might lead them to buy certain items. According to the patent, for example, Microtransaction Engine 128 may identify a junior player to match with a marquee player based on a player profile of the junior player. In a particular example, the junior player may wish to become an expert sniper in the game. Microtransaction Engine 128 may match the junior player with a player that is a highly skilled sniper in the game. In this manner, the junior player may be encouraged to make the game-related purchases, such as a rifle or other item used by the highly skilled sniper. Basically what this is saying is exactly what I feared in my previous videos. The game is going to be watching to see your tendencies, what you've purchased in the past, and who you fit best with in the game. And if they see that you suck, and they see that someone else purchased a weapon and they're really good, and they see that you've purchased items in the past and you still suck, they're going to start matching you with someone who's good to show you the ropes of the game in hopes that you start purchasing the weapons that that person already purchased in hopes to being as good as them someday. The patent also goes over more straightforward applications like generating NPCs to fulfill certain roles on a team or dropping players in maps that favor their playstyle. And of course Activision is in full damage control right now. Right after this article ran on Kotaku, Activision sent a response right back. This was an exploratory patent filed in 2015 by an R&D team working independently from our game studios. It has not been implemented in-game. Great. So, we got nothing to worry about. It was just a patent you guys happened to file a couple years ago, and it just happened to finally get approved, and it just happens not to be in this game right now. It's not going to happen in the future. I mean, why would they put this in a game in the future? It's nothing they'd ever use in the future. Right? Look, the whole point why I keep getting so frustrated about microtransactions, especially in the previous couple weeks, is because this insane snowball just keeps rolling and getting bigger, and these corporate defenders keep saying, no, it's nothing to worry about, no big deal, nothing's even happening, you don't have to buy this stuff. You do have to buy this stuff, especially with the direction that the games are going right now. They're slowly creating this perception that it's okay to buy microtransactions. It's normal. Everyone does it. It's how you play the games. And soon enough, these gamers are going to become so numb to the fact that all these microtransactions and all these AAA games are going to be there and so present and persistent that they're just going to assume that that's the way it is and that's the way it's always been. When that is not the case, games should not be this way. And these AAA publishers are taking full advantage of people who don't know 
any better, have these gambling habits that they can't kick, have way too much money that they don't know where to spend it, and all these things are so unnecessary in the game, they're just so greedy that they have to put more of them and more of them in the game as they go because God knows those stockholders want more money. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments section what you think about this situation. If you think it's no big deal, or if you think this patent being filed by Activision is a bunch of BS. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. I'll tell you later, just hide.